Hey there, I'm Lucas Vaughn with the Missouri Department of Conservation. And today on Habitat Hints, we're gonna talk about the invasive species teasel. And I wanna be joined by MDC's Jason Jensen. He's gonna tell us all we need to know about that invasive species and also give us some options for some of the really good native species found here in Missouri. Let me turn this around and we'll talk with Jason. All right, Jason, so we're talking invasive species teasel. So tell us a little bit about that and uh, so forth. Hey, thanks Lucas and welcome to another Habitat Hints. Uh, today we are focused on invasive species and regardless of whether you're a landowner or a land manager, um, you should be concerned about invasive species. The one that we're focused on today is called teasel. Uh, there's a couple different species of teasel that are both invasive. Um, this is a, a plant that, uh, you know, we talk a lot about pollinators and you can see the, the seed heads or the flower heads on these are in bloom right now. You will see bumblebees and different pollinators using these, but, but there are much better native alternatives to these invasives. So teasel is one that is, is very invasive. You'll see it up and down roadways. Uh, the seed spreads up and down uh, draws and things like that with water. Um, and it can easily take over um, areas, outcompete native species and things like that. So uh, teasel is relatively easy to control. It is a biennial, so one of the important things when you're uh, I'm trying to understand how to control teasel is understanding its life cycle. So as a biennial, the first year after the seed germinates, you can see that it just produces a rosette like this, and it's real easy to control at this stage. Um, so this is year one after the seed is, has, uh, has germinated. Mm -hmm. um, and so and then the following year, those rosettes will will shoot up their flower heads and actually produce seeds. So it can be controlled at either stage. A uh, chemical like uh, Milestone is a really, really good choice for this. It can be a little bit tricky to uh, control with other herbicides, but Milestone is absolutely our chemical of choice for controlling teasel out here. Uh, you can see that we do have a lot of natives right in this area too. And so one of the beneficial things of Milestone is it is relatively uh, selective and there are some uh, native plants out here that we want to favor that are resistant to milestone. Um, and so we do want to be careful uh, as we're applying our herbicide out here to control the invasives to try and uh, favor and, and try and make sure that we don't get uh, too much overspray on our natives like this native uh, common milkweed here beside us. So right here, right yep. here's your normal common milkweed. So so when you're spraying, it, you could also harm some of these plants. So you gotta be very careful, correct? Yeah, exactly. And so one of the first things is, is making sure that you're using uh, a herbicide that's as selective as possible um, and as effective as possible. Um, the other is making sure that you're following the label directions um, on that herbicide label as well uh, for your safety as well as for the, the safety of the plants that you don't want to harm out here as well making sure that you're spraying on days where it's not too windy um, and things like that. So those are some, some good tips to help you control teasel uh, when you encounter it on your property. Um, and again, it's just one of many invasives that we have out here, but it is one of the uh, more invasive plants that we see here in Missouri. Where can you learn more about how you can get rid of this invasive species? Uh, really good, there's a couple really good resources, you know, mdc.mo.gov. Um, we've got lots of good information on controlling invasive species here in Missouri. Um, we, we also have the Missouri Invasive Species Council, um, which is an organization that was stood up by the Missouri Prairie Foundation. Of course, the Department of Conservation is a member of that Missouri Invasive Species Council. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Jason, and thank you all for tuning in. Again, you can also check out more information on how you get rid of these invasive species on our website at mdc.mo.gov, and just search for invasive species control, and you can find out all the information you need. Thank you very much for tuning in. You'll have a great rest of the day.